Hello there, my dear kindergartners. How are you? We're back here with another painting lesson. Oh, I've been thrilled receiving all those beautiful paintings you're sending. And you know what I really like that I'm seeing? It's you're really, really doing so well with mixing the colors and discovering new colors. And it's definitely the best way to learn is with the paint and doing it. Now, I did not mention before the names because I don't want you to be overwhelmed with too many names, but some of you already told me in an email that you're doing secondary colors, right? So have you watched the Color Wheel movie? In there, she talks about it, mixing up primary colors and making secondary colors. Yes, that's right. So secondary colors is when you mix two primary colors, okay? You don't have to worry about the name now, okay? But primary colors, that's something very important because we artists, we need to know the primary colors. They are the most important colors that we need because we use them a lot and we can make many things with them, okay? But all the colors are very important, all right? But primary colors, I am glad to see that you learn that and that you know them. Okay, very good. So today, we're going to talk about an artist before we go to the painting table, okay? So you're going to need your colors again. We're not using the black today, so save that black, okay? Right? Now, the artist I want to talk to you about it, his name is Claude Monet, okay? You see the picture here, okay? So Claude Monet, what was very cool about him was that at a certain point, he stopped using black paint because he thought that black paint did not show light in the painting like he wanted. So he said, you know what, I'm not going to use black paint anymore. So today we're going to make a painting without black paint, okay? All right. so one cool thing about Monet was that he did something called tint. Yes, T-I-N-T, see, T-I-N-T, tint, tint is when you add white to a color, yes. When you want add white to a color, that changes to a tinted color. So if you think about it, pink, for example, it comes from red. So if I add a little bit of white into red, I make pink. And so pink is a tinted color because it comes from white. So one thing that I want you to do before you start painting, okay, go outside and take a look at the leaves on the ground, okay? Because the leaves, they have a lot of tinted colors. Yes, they are losing their colors, so they become yellow, and some yellow are lighter, some yellow are darker, some of them are red, some of the red is light. Look at this here. Look at this painting. You see, this is a painting by Monet. Let's get a little closer. Woo! See that? Okay. Now, what is very cool about Monet is that he mixed the paint right away and he put the painting on. Okay? So he used a lot of tinting. And that's what we're going to do. So I want you to think about the fall. That's the season we are now. Okay? And think about Monet. Now, I'm going to show you something very cool about Monet at the end of the video. Okay, which is about this painting that you see somebody in front of it. All right, so we're going to move to the table and we're going to paint like Monet today. Okay, so we're going to tint the color. Can you say tint? Let me hear it. Tint. Yes, T-I-N-T. Let's say it again. Tint. Yes. You know, we artists, you know, we have a lot of fancy words. Now, since you're an artist, you have to start using fancy words, right? So when you're going to go mix white, you have to say now, well, I'm going to tint my color. See? You don't say, I'm going to mix white. No. You're an artist, so you have to use proper language. So you say, I'm going to tint my color. So, let's tint some color. Move to the table. Here we go. Okay. So, I got my paper towel. I got my water. I got my Mr. Brush. Remember how I hold my Mr. Brush? Okay. Nice and clean. And I have my red, my yellow, and my blue, which I call 
primary colors and I have my white for the tint. Now, I'm going to give you a little tip. White is a very thick paint. So before you work with the white, do a little bit like this, see? Shake it down a little bit, okay? So the white is here because sometimes it can blow up because it's kind of thick. It's very different from the other paint, okay? So I also going to be my paper palette, okay? So I'm gonna start with my paper palette. Now remember, see? Look, I put my paper here. I put a little stick in there, okay? So I'm gonna think about that painting from Monet, okay? The one that is called fall painting, okay? Or autumn painting, okay? That's from Monet there, right? So I'm gonna put it right here so you can see, okay? See the painting right there? All right, so that's the painting I want you to have on your mind. So the first thing you're going to do is you're gonna get your yellow and you're gonna put some yellow, okay? Then you're gonna put three spots with yellow. Two and three. See, one, two, three, okay? Then you're gonna get your red. Now, you're gonna go very, very, very careful with the red. You're gonna put just a little bit, look. Just a little bit, see? Just a little bit and just a little bit. See? So now I'm going to mix the color, but I'm going to keep them kind of separated. Okay? Hey, so I'm going to mix until I have one orange. Now, to do that, you have to mix it well and make sure that you keep them separated. Okay? Now see, my orange are slightly different, but not too much, which is fine, okay? Now I'm gonna start doing this. Look, I'm gonna think about the Monet, and I'm just gonna go and put some in there, okay? Well, think about the leaves outside. See, so I don't need to wash my brush now, okay? Now, I'm gonna get the other one, and I'm gonna put some around too. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use my white. So I'm gonna go into my palette and I'm gonna put a little bit of white. See? A little bit of white, a little bit of white, a little bit of white. Okay, now in just one of them, I'm gonna put a little bit of red, look. And I'm going to put a little bit of yellow. See? Now, the other ones I'm going to put just yellow. Yellow and yellow. Now, I'm going to tint my color. Look. I'm going to mix. See? Ooh, beautiful. And I'm going to start to spread in there. Okay, now what you're gonna have to do now is you're gonna use a little bit of blue. Now, one thing you have to be careful. You don't want the blue to mix too much with the red. You want the blue to be more light. So get your yellow, put a little bit here on your lighter part of the palette. Okay, put a little white. Okay, see? A little white and just one little wincy mincy 
Eat off boo. Look. Oh, come on. Just a little bit, you see? Just a little. Put your cap now. For this one, it's a good idea to wash your brush. So you have a clean brush. Look. Right? I washed it well. Three times I dry. I have a clean brush. And here I go. So I'm going to mix this one in here. Oh, look at that. I have a nice light green. Mmm, okay. Ha ha. It's a tinted green. See? So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit here and there. Mm hmm. How do you like my Monet, huh? That's pretty cool, right? Okay, all right. So I'm gonna leave it here to dry, okay? And I wanna show you something that I told you I'm gonna talk about Monet, okay? Now, when you are working with your Monet, keep the strokes. Remember we talk a lot about strokes? Keep them short. Don't make long strokes, okay? Because that will be more like a Jackson Pollock. But you know what? I'm talking to you about Jackson Pollock. Check this one out here, look. Hey. You see this painting in there? Now, this painting is very big, as you can see the person in front. Now, let me show you just the painting. This painting is very, very big. Right? Now, it's called the Water Lilies. And it's here in the Museum of Modern Art, in Modern Art, Mr. Souza, Museum of Modern Art of the MoMA in New York City. Maybe you can go there and check. And remember I talked to you about Jackson Pollock? So the cool thing about this painting was that when the MoMA bought that painting, Jackson Pollock was an art student. And he went in front of it and he looked at the painting. And he said, whoa, look at those lines. <gasps> if I can do something like that. So Monet, even though he loved to paint flowers and all of this, when Jackson Pollock saw Monet's painting, Jackson Pollock didn't look too far away. He went to look very close. And all he saw were lines. Yes, just like Jackson Pollock, lines like that. That's inspired Jackson Pollock to create. So you see how one artist can inspire the other? So that's your job for today. Go ahead, create your Monet, okay? Tint the colors, all right? And do whatever you want. Okay, you are an artist. Artists are allowed to paint whatever they want and you are allowed to paint whatever you want. But try to tint your colors, okay? Tinting, remember that? All right, kindergartners, talk to you later. And have fun. Bye-bye.